Good day, welcome to Glenn Meditation. If you haven't seen my videos before, I have Parkinson's disease and I try to heal it as naturally as possible. And I make videos on the things I try. A few weeks ago, um, I sent off my urine samples to the Great Plains the Laboratory in the States, hoping to find out that I had a mold toxicity because I have signs of a uh, Malassezia, which is caused by fungal infection on the face, and also they they say that maybe Parkinson's can be caused by mold toxicity because it, its effect on the dopamine receptors in the brain. Um, so I was hoping to find out I had high levels of mold, and then I would just treat my Parkinson's for a while as if I had a fungal infection and hope see what happens. Again, I would rather have a fungal infection than non-known cause of, of Parkinson's. So um, basically the results from the lab um, showed that I didn't have very high levels of mold. Just two of the molds of the 14 that they tested were in the red but not high in the red. It was just, just a little above average. And I was hoping to find out that I had a lot of mold so that I could just focus on healing that and maybe heal up from mold toxicity instead of Parkinson's disease. But anyhow, the results weren't very high. There is another thing, if your glutathione thion pathways are not working properly and you can't detox properly, even if you have high levels of mold, it won't show up in the test. So that's one possibility. So I'm keeping the mold idea on the back burner. I'm gonna try to still eat as much of an antifungal diet as possible because I have been noticing some changes when I've taken sugar out of the diet and um, that's another theory that I'm looking at that Parkinson's may be caused by metabolic syndrome specifically from sugar and fructose and stuff like that so so that also kind of ties in with um, fungus and molds as well so, so anyhow I didn't test um, very high for molds, keeping it on the back burner. If you have Parkinson's, it's still interesting to maybe get your mold tested and see if that's one of the causes of what's happening with you. Um, I'll put down video links to Dr. Minchley talking about ocrotoxin A and mold testing and Parkinson's below in the links. So anyhow, take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.